So Noah. Yeah, what's up? I'm going to try to bring the YouTube audience up to speed here. And I'm going to need your help because I can't even remember. It, we've gone backwards so far that I can't remember where we started. For what? Okay. We had an engine that came in this car. Had an engine that came in, in the this back. In the back of it. We put it we in. put it in. It was good for a year. Blew a head gasket. Blew it. Right. No, rod knock. No, first it had white smoke. Remember over to school when when I came and hauled it hauled it up here because it was blowing white smoke. Wasn't that the second time? <laughs> I don't, see, that's what I'm, yeah. that's what I mean. We're going so far backwards, we don't know where, where we started. But anyway, that was the second engine. Because then we put it on there, we took it back up. That here. was the engine out of the blue. Yeah. Car, but the one we put in that was in the back of this thing, did it develop? white smoke first or did it throw a rod and it was done I thought it was I thought that was the one that first and threw a rod I remember okay. because I want to I still want to I want to hook it up I want to put it in a safer place and I want to let it rev run it until it's just it, well because it doesn't goes, have a red line goes right? to bits and these it's a boxer yes yeah. you, you have four boom 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 you have four pistons that are waiting to explode off of there Okay, that sounds fun. Don't don't get me off track. I'm <laughs> trying to figure this out. Okay, anyway, one engine threw a rod. And then it had white smoke and we replaced the head gasket and that lasted for a while. And then it had white smoke again. And uh, then it had uh, milkshake. I think we replaced the head gasket and then it got a milkshake in the radiator or in the, in the oil pan. Had water, no oil. So, we went to Seattle and got this engine. We put it in, and it did not have any milkshake in the oil, but we went to adjust the valves, and uh, you discovered the freeze plug leaking a little bit. But it wasn't enough to make the oil bad. The oil still looked good in this thing with the original heads on it. But when you, I said, let's adjust that valve. That's all we gotta do. So we pulled it in and you were uh, showing you how to adjust the valve and you discovered that freeze plug was trickling a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we said, well, we've got those other heads off the previous engine that we had resurfaced and had them pressure tested down at the machine shop. Should be good, so let's just swap heads instead of doing the freeze plug. Yeah. So we swapped heads, should be good heads, okay. Um, and then uh, when I was putting water in the radiator, it wouldn't fill up and I pulled the drain plug on the oil pan and the pure water ran out. So, okay. Yeah. That brought us to thinking that it was a cracked block, mm -hmm. maybe. Well, you thinking it was a cracked block. Yeah. Me thinking, right? I don't know what you I'm were kidding. thinking. Uh, I thought something was wrong with the head, with the head gasket. Yeah, because that's, but, and I and I didn't because it was a good head gasket. I special yeah. ordered some really good head gaskets that I felt really good about when I put it together. But I didn't check the freeze plugs because I'm a Chevy guy, and freeze plugs are supposed to pop out of the outside of the block, not yeah, go, not, not go inside back the into head the oil. and go into the oil pan. Yeah. So, anyway, and then so Noah wants to have that head tested, and I was opposed to that because like, we already had it tested, we already had it resurfaced, don't think there's anything wrong with it. And they they reached, they, uh, they so supposedly pressure tested the head and I'm not happy about this and I'm gonna go talk to them about it because they didn't see anything wrong with it. They didn't find a bad freeze plug. If they did everything right, they should have, when they sprayed it down, they pressurized it with air and then spray it down, they should see bubbles or something and they charged you $180, and then you get it home and find a hole in the freeze plug. Mm -hmm. How did they not find that? And how did, you know, did he tell you that? I asked him, I said. Did they only check in the combustion chamber? So I said, I think my words were, so does that, do you test the freeze plugs with that? And he goes, well, we test the whole head. Yeah. So I figured that means. The water jacket. Yeah, the water jacket, yeah. the the combustion chamber, everything. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know. Yeah. Even down here. Yeah. So, 
Anyway, so how did yeah? Noah finds a freeze plug with a hole in it. So since the since the original heads to the engine did not have milkshake and oil pan, we're going to go back to those heads and just replace freeze plugs in them before we even put them in. And uh, and hopefully, hopefully we're not going to get water in the oil pan again. I I just but it's a tiny little hole in that freeze plug. Makes you wonder if that other head ever got Maybe yet. Yeah, maybe this head's got a bigger hole in the freeze plug because water's going right into that oil pan. That teeny tiny little hole that you showed me in that freeze plug, without it being under pressure, just pouring water in the radiator, it couldn't. It just couldn't put that much water in that fast, as fast as this thing was going down. I mean, <laughs> I couldn't mm -hmm. fill it up and just filled up the oil pan and nothing flat. So, but we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna put the original heads to this engine back on, but we're gonna do the freeze plugs. And I got new gaskets, I got five gaskets. Because, because, well, no, well, because there's probably nothing wrong with the engine that we pulled out. Yeah. The block, it's mm -hmm. probably good. So uh, I, I got more gaskets in case we need to use that other engine at some point. As long as all those bearings are good, but there's yeah. nothing we can check for those. It we ran pretty block. good, but Both this engine good. ran really good. It was quiet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, the last time we pulled this thing, we had it sitting in the, we had it in the floor in 30 minutes. In five hours, we had pulled the engine, changed the heads, took a 40 minute lunch break, put the engine back in, in the car, took it back out, and took. Well, we took it back out because the firewood was on. No, that was, that was the uh, first go around when we first put this engine in. Somebody's talked to us on YouTube talking about us installing the engine without a fly was no 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 we didn't install <laughs> it we caught it and we laughed <laughs> because we were so excited about a new engine let's put it in and we didn't even notice it didn't have a flywheel and pressure plate and all that on it you but, should, should but no we video. didn't we didn't install it that way guys <laughs> we just caught it and was laughing about how how uh, crazy that was that we were we were too excited about the new engine to even notice so. But no, we didn't. We didn't put the transmission on it that way. However, within in 33 minutes, we had this engine sitting on the floor. So um, there's no need to film us doing that because y'all seen us do it so many times. That we're just going to yank it out and and uh, change the heads and put in new freeze plugs and maybe we'll film that. But here we go. Hey guys, welcome back to Wave and Wires Old Iron. You know, in the last video, we got uh, the big block dropped back into the dozer hack, and my special guest is going to show up, I don't know, late tonight or maybe 9 or noonish tomorrow. I don't know. He had quite a day ahead of him. I don't think he'll make it in tonight. He was about 14 hours out and got kind of a late start due to the fog. But uh, he's going to help me with the dozer hack. Well, uh, I'm hoping to get some wiring done because I hate, I hate wiring. Oh, oh, I'd rather go cut a switch for mama and let her whoop me as to do wiring. Just rather take a whooping. One of mama's whoopings. Mm. But it's got to be done. So uh, he said he'd help me with it. If we can get the thing in far enough along in position to do that, yeah, that's not going to be in this video. In this video, we've got some other things going on. But, um, uh, what? What? Oh, Petunia says, if you want to see how she was built, uh, just stay tuned after the outro because this is not really what I do here on this, this channel. This channel is about old iron and rat rods and hot rods and such as that. So this, ain't, this, this channel ain't about building pigs, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. <laughs> so there's a reason behind it. All right, let's get in it. Hey, welcome to Rat Rod. My name's Waylon Wire, and don't ever do what we do here on this channel. Well, yesterday, Noah and I were preparing to yank this thing out. We had not yet taken the bolts out of the motor mounts or the two bottom bolts out of that bell housing. Um, we had the radiator out. 
I think we had the intake off when I got a phone call from my accountant so I had to go in the office and close the door so that wouldn't hear the compressor running and uh yeah took that call and when I came back out Noah had this engine sitting here in the floor so <laughs> It's just getting to be a common occurrence, you know. Uh, but yeah, I, I have to compliment him. But I'll wait and do that. I'll wait and do that. And uh, I'll do that with him And because I'm kind of proud of the kid. But uh, he just got off work and he's on his way up. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started here. Get my bearings and... Uh, we'll get ready to throw this thing back in. Hopefully we'll have no milkshake. I don't know. It seems to be the way it goes, but it, uh, we replaced the freeze plugs. So hopefully it's good now. I don't know. If it's not, we have decided that we're going to quit messing with these, uh, these EA81s and just go ahead and get a, what are they, um, EJ, I think, a later later model, and uh, it's quite common for them to do conversions on these uh, these old brats and put an EJ in there. So I think that's our next next step. If this doesn't work out, we're gonna quit fighting these old eighty ones and I don't know, and uh, give it something with a little power. That'll be better anyway. All right, I'm gonna get crack a lacking here, as my friend Chevaholic says, and uh, Noah should be here any minute. Hey guys, I wanted to let you know that my special guest and I will be doing a live stream tomorrow night, that's Wednesday night, at 5 o'clock on the West Coast. And I think uh, Noah might make a special appearance as well. So hope to see you in the live chat, guys. Later. This is going to change when it gets hot, but we're going to get it close enough to run. It's pretty easy to adjust the valve when it's hot, if you can have it on the lift. If you get to it from the bottom side, you know, it's not too bad, but the lift is kind of tied up at the moment. We're going to get close enough for it to run. I don't know. I don't know if it's got water in a while. <laughs> I just don't know. Uh, okay. You want to hang on to it to keep it from spinning? Yeah. Go forward. Stop. Forward a little. There you go. Okay. If you're gonna stand there, I'm gonna move this. So I'm getting the, oh, top, sorry. Getting the top of your head really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, down. Down. Down we go. Ever so slow. Okay. And very, very slow. Okay, one side's in. Down or? Keep going. Good. Huh? Good. Go in. Oh, 
Oh they're yeah. Hanging out. The bolts are hanging out. We gotta go up with the engine about yeah. about an inch. So probably gotta come up with the transmission. Then that'll turn this shaft and then it'll go. It's just, you know. Hey, there you it go. just it's takes just... time. There it is. You got it closer. I think it is because we just got the wrong angle on this engine. You know, I needed one more link and then it would have been lined up just right. Is it started? Yep. Okay. Okay, let the. Do you think let the transmission down? I figure we. Not Try to get this. Well, you don't want it tight. Pull one on the other side. You gotta make sure they're all started first. But I think if you let that transmission down, it may go now. Okay. I'm all right. Oh, it's going. Yeah, there we are, Noah. Oh, do I? Is it on the bottom, too? Jack, is the bottom lined up? Looks like it. All right, we're good, Noah. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna hold it while you get that tightened up or get another one started over here or something. Ha! Ha! You got down with the block on it, didn't you? No. No? Here, pull this out. <laughs> pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it on the money. Just a but the filter's gonna take a little bit. Well, those lifters don't sound too bad. No, they don't. Oh, that makes me happy. It's just freeze plugs. And that's probably what was probably the only thing wrong with that other engine that we yeah. thought was had a cracked block. Oh, oh well. There we go. I'm curious about that spark plug. Yep, eyeballing it. It's 40. Let's break it 35. See if it runs any better with a good plug in it. See if it runs any better with a working plug. That's what you just said. That's kind of what I said, Bill. Yeah. Boy, I sure like that clear oil. That's nice. Man, no water. New freeze plug. Dave, thank you, Dave, for the freeze plug. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> yeah, Dave. D&D &D Speed Shop, Portland, Oregon. Look here, you stopped right on your timing marks. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. How about that? How about that? Fire thing up. Still missing. It's missing on that one still. Wonder why? why? I don't know. Man, it's just about turn it on again. Is 
still missing? Yeah. Huh. Oh! It, I think it quit firing. What do you mean? Let's start it again. I, I, I want to watch it at idle. See if it's still firing. Turn it on. Vacuum leak. It's supposed to be a plug on that. There you go. The sounds are pretty good. I hear one little kick, but it ain't bad. You know, a few minutes ago, <laughs> before you came up, I texted you and I said, "There's nothing that could that could possibly change, ruin your mood." Yeah, change my good mood. <laughs> I knew something bad was going to happen when you said that. Why did you say that? I, I know. Well, I came over here. I want to see your expression. So I came out here, mm -hmm. and there's a quart of oil all over the floor. <sighs> see all that? Yeah. Where'd that come from? <laughs> the engine? Is <laughs> <laughs> this fell out of the sky? No. You remember when we were, uh, you had started to take the valve covers off because you didn't know I had adjusted the valves? Yeah. You know, we got it. We got a. Oh, there you are. We got interrupted by a stray cat. There's a cat in here. Here's Joshy. Oh, uh, yeah. So. We got rudely interrupted by a stray cat that has found his way into the shop. And he's he's not very happy about mm -hmm. something. What's going he's on? Just... Hey buddy! Come on! Come on out, buddy. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Little guy. Okay. You're okay. It's alright. Look here. This is a Subaru. So Remember, you thought we needed to adjust the valves. You didn't know I'd already done that. Yeah. So you pulled, get ready to pull the valve covers. And then I said, no, they're already done. You put this one back on. You said, hey, would you start those bolts on that other side? And then we got distracted, <laughs> went down another road, and you forgot to tighten you to come over and tighten them up. So that's a good one. That's an easy Did one. you tighten them? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. It's, okay. it's done. Hey, buddy. What's the matter, little buddy? I'm gonna put him outside and then I'm gonna talk to you about some more stuff here. Here you go, bud. So, we got this thing running. The oil is nice and clear. Mm -hmm. And I was texting you and I said, you know, only a car guy would understand. <laughs> what a great feeling that is to rub that clear, clean air between your fingers and mm -hmm. it has viscosity and it's all good, you know. No milkshake, no water in the oil. So, I was putting the oil pump on because mm -hmm. we had a bad gasket, it was leaking bad, and we tried to put another one on. And, and then I finally made one out of my former gasket stuff. Tightened it down, I broke the bolt. Water pump. Water pump bolt going into the block. Okay, normally that would just be, oh, the end of the world. Oh, I hate this. I broke a bolt off in the block. It just can't get any worse. But that just pales in comparison to all the trouble we've had with this thing. Yeah. So, you know, the best scenario would be 
Yeah, we can get exact center on that bolt. It's kind of small, so it's going to be hard to do. Mm -hmm. And drill it out. And I, what I use, I've got left-handed drill bits. And sometimes while you're drilling, it'll catch the bolt and just unscrew it. Just which you won't push on it that hard, which is so. I'm hoping that it'll just it's aluminum. And hopefully, it'll just unscrew with the with the drill bit. Worst case scenario is you got to drill it out to a bigger size and maybe retap it to a bigger size or uh, they, they, it's a helicoil. It's called a helicoil and you put that in there and then it's threaded mm. inside to the same size. So but anyway, like you were saying, Noah says, hey, we don't have to pull the engine. Just pull the grill and the radiator and we've got real good access to it. So I, I, I never thought I'd say this, but... I'm I'm not even upset about this. No, this is Broken. the best thing that could go wrong. <laughs> Compared well, to having oil in the water, this is this mm -hmm. will work. We can do we can deal with it. Okay, uh, I need to check the oil because I put a little bit in it, but I have not checked it. Well, if it was leaking in quarter oil, I imagine there's not much left in it. Well, I put some in it. No, there was a, uh, it was down about half a quart or, or maybe a quart. Fair. Were you right on the right on the money? No, just oil color. You were waving it around in front of my face and I couldn't see out the full mark. It's always a full, oh, right on, right on. Okay. Let's get this thing out of here, yeah? Um, yeah, we need to clean this floor up and, um, oh, but, but I wanted to tell you something else. What I've been saying is, you know, Noah's getting really good at, really handy with tools and, and his mechanical ability is getting really good and and I've always said you know he's he's really handy but his deductive reasoning is a little bit lacking it's because you don't have the experience you don't have 50 years experience mm -hmm. well you took he took this head in and uh, to the machine shop and they say they pressure tested it and then uh, charged him $180 and then we got back from the machine shop and he found a hole in the freeze plug. Now they should have found that. Mm -hmm. So he figured it out. I didn't. I'm an old Chevy guy and I think freeze plugs should pop out of the block and not run oil into the oil pan. And you figured that out and I missed it. And, and I just say this in front of God and the whole YouTube community and everybody. I, I won't be saying that anymore about your You're saying what your deductive oh. reasoning that might be lacking because of experience. <laughs> you won't hear me say that again because you found it and I didn't. So I hey, you discouraged me from taking it to the shop too. Yeah, Which, because we'd already had it done and and, it and you should have asked. And... You should have asked what it was going to cost, and so that's on you. But they yeah. should have found that freeze plug, and that's on them. And I'm going to go have a chat with them because. I know, you know, I started working with Scott down there. Our first project together was he helped me get everything I needed to, uh, I mean, anybody could have done it, but I just wound up working with him when we put the 327 V8 in Trevor's S10 pickup. So that mm. was 20 years ago. So I've known Scott a long time, and I think he will do the right thing. And uh, I'm just going to take that head down there and show it to him because that should have been obvious. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. I'm going to call your daddy. I'm going to call your dad, okay? All right, you need me to drive it out back? Yeah. Sounds like we got a miss and we got a... We got a running light. We got a bulb out. At least it don't have water and oil. Yeah, it's missing. This is pretty bad. Yeah, we'll figure. We'll figure it out. Pales in comparison to the trouble we've had. By the way, this is what I look like from behind in case you want to follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's a wrap on another one. We'll see you real soon right back here on Wayland Wire's Old Iron. Until we do, you know, I sure do appreciate you. Thank you.